Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks, Stephen from the Department of, um, no, 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 the, of, of um, mediation between me and my son and a couch. Um, so we had this experience this morning, Bo's got an aid over and he's doing, he wanted to do a bit of biology before they start because he wants to get, he needs to be monitored um, during homework and I'm going to tell exactly why. Now biology isn't this particular person's um, area of expertise so he was really letting Bo run the show and I, I said to him, Stephen turned up halfway through I think, but I, I said to him, the, to the aid, don't, don't just let him walk all over you, challenge him, like ask him to explain it to you. Teaching the teacher is the best way to know that they know the information. What Bo was doing was he wanted that he'd get a question and he knows where all the answers are in his Chromebook. But this is, this is, um, I'm just going to move that up because believe it or not, we're both taller than that. I'm going to believe. Um, he knows where the answers are in his Chromebook, tab 3, tab 17, tab 42, which we're trying to get him to stop doing because if he ever turns his computer off, he loses his tabs and goes bananas. Um, we're trying to get him to stop doing that. But I said, Bo, this homework is telling you, oh, there's a free couch. I just paid for this one from the op shop. <laughs> it's on the side of the road. The, they're giving you this holiday homework is to show you what your final exams are going to be like. The information is not for you to look up where the answer is and then copy it down. So this one was about re 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 repeatability. And reliability. Was it reliability? Yeah, re repeatability and reliability or it, they were very similar things and he was looking up the definition that they had in biology of repeatability of whatever and rely and I said no don't copy the words down you have to you you have to know the answers and write them down and he started getting really I can tell, I, because I know Bo so well, and, and I get a lot of shit over this actually on ASD Rocks. People write in, they're like, oh, you know, don't speak to him this way, or can't you read his body language, or can't you this or that. It's like, actually, I can read it so well, I know exactly, exactly where he is with everything. And I know when Bo's like, those, like that guy would not have known he was getting pissed no. with me. Did, could you tell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. He didn't physically. He just, he just, he, I can't explain what it was, but you could tell he, he was getting frustrated that I wouldn't let him just finish his work. Just let me finish my work. The problem is that I know that with these, um, with these exams that are coming up, they're not going to be open book. That he has to put things in his own words and that is where he struggles and has always struggled the most. Stephen cut in with a brilliant look because I said, Stephen, can you take over? He's getting pissed also because it's me. That's also another thing. He doesn't get pissed with you and he doesn't get pissed with his aide. So I was like, can you just explain? And you said, what about repeatability and what I was using oh, yeah. came up I said that you knew how to explain it to Bo what you were trying to <laughs> so like right in front they would Sorry. need to hear what you're you saying you knew what you were trying to explain to Bo and that was a repeated repeated uh, definition or a repeated you've seen me do it method and it was reliable. So the reliability of that repeated method was that Bo was able to understand it. So that was an easier way to understand. To, for, to explain it to him. In words rather than looking up meanings. Yeah, because I said to his aide, if I asked you what repeatability meant, and he said, yeah. And he said, so it's this. And I said, anybody could just tell you what repeatability means, not necessarily within the exact 
way that they want it in biology, but we need to understand the words. Um, and I said, Bo, what is repeatability? And he just blanked it. He said, oh, uh, uh, and he's, he wants to go for that he wants to go exact to definition. And what Stephen said was, I have seen your mum do this often with you. She is repeating the same thing with you, explaining why you have to understand or know it yourself. Um, and it's a reliable method. So well, it is a reliable... Well, the reliability is that he's going to get pissed off with me. The re but then I explained it to him and said, listen, you know, and then I put it into context of what happens at work if someone says, you know, um, oh, thanks, mate, thanks for this report, but um, can you put the reliability bit in it? I said, you can't go to a textbook and and look it up. You've got to be able to just put it down. If you want to be a forensic scientist, the repeatability part is you're not going to be the only forensic pathologist or, um, or, or scientist, whatever area of forensic he goes into. Um, so, sorry. So, if you, um, if you did, let's say, an autopsy and someone else did an autopsy, would you both come up with the exact same conclusions? And that's not only, that's not only repeating, but it's also, also the reliability. reliability. So it's both. And when I started to show him the future as opposed to the now and the why now, that's when he started to calm down a little bit because I saw him... Yeah, because he could see... ...why I wasn't letting him just look up the answer. Um, and then are you, I think you were talking to the aide about football or something ridiculous like that. God <laughs> love me. I have... <laughs> Two, uh, three, three new, three new, I call them aides. I call them aides because it's easier, but three new support workers. I don't know if the first one, do you know if the first guy, the one you liked, remember with the really, really yeah, curly yeah. hair? Um, I don't know if he was into fo uh, football. Did you suss no, all that wasn't. out? He, oh, that's right. He's, he's like on, Mr. Non Sport. He's, the... he's totally on the spectrum too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But he was, and, and the other two, not on the spectrum at all. In fact, guess what? What? I got a message from the guy yesterday. Yep. I'm obviously not using yep. their names. 1 a.m. this morning. My phone's on silent, so it doesn't matter. But I woke up this morning all bleary-eyed. He's got a cousin. He mentioned to me when when we I was doing the first initial, hi, my name's this, I'd be really interested in meeting your son. Just before we both pass out in association. Um, he said, oh, I've got a cousin who's on the spectrum. He's pretty high functioning, blah, blah, blah. So last night, well, this morning, I woke up to a message from him saying, hey, listen, because he gets along really well with Bo. You saw, yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, last yeah. night. I mean, he's, this guy is gold. The only problem is he's a bit, because he's not on the spectrum, he's like, fairly unreliable in the sense that he was supposed to be there at three, didn't turn up till four thirty, which he was fine. He was texting, he was saying, Hey, I've just got a bit of you know but he texts at three. Yeah. And then like so he doesn't understand how important it is to text before three. Yep. Um But that he'll get to. He'll get to. But he said, I've got a cousin on the spectrum and he said, He and Bo are like twins. He said, What do you say we get them together? Like, you know, he said in the same way, like the same sort of video games, the same way they relate, the same way they talk. And I said, so that neither of them will want to have friends, basically. That's right. Like neither. I said, so I wrote back and I said, look, don't get me wrong. I said, I'll give anything a shot the first, second and third time, once, twice or three times. I said, but... The truth is, with with kids on the spectrum like that, the last thing they're thinking about is, do I want to hang out with a mate? And then I sort of thought for a second, you know, 
if they did, because I'm thinking about, well, he's got, you know, he never wants to text. He won't initiate conversation. He's terrified of texting. Um, the fact that he texted you the other day when he didn't know where I was instead of me <laughs> is bizarre. But I suppose he sees you more <laughs> during the day than he sees me. Well, you told them I have no home and I just... <laughs> I... <laughs> No, I told the aides you were homeless. No, you, and you told these people. Did I? He's yes. homeless. <laughs> Just turns up. I'm, well, you will be homeless soon. Yes. Yeah. Um, they're selling your house. Yes. So there we go. Just got you a couch you can sleep on. <laughs> you can share a room with Finn. <laughs> or the dog. You can both <laughs> snore together. Right. You can curl up underneath the French... <laughs> My grandfather's French thing. We'll just get you a nice big dog bed. Um, so then I thought, look, if they do actually get along on a video game level of that younger level, like, because these guys are all like, oh, you know, I play shooting games or I play GTA or I... Bo's still playing um, Super Mario... Uh, What's that? Cut. Smash Brothers. Yeah. No, it's, it's it's like Street Fighter, but with cute cartoons. Yes. As if parents don't realise that it's violence because the, the, because the characters are from Super Mario. But it's still... But if they do get along on that level, then, as I said to him, we could almost, like, the first few times it would have to be facilitated like a play date for kids. Yes. He said, like, obviously, we do it for free, blah, 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 because it's helping them both out. And I was like, yeah, 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 that's not the issue. The issue is getting them past that point of that awkwardness. But it's... To... Yeah, it's got to be well organised, because mm. otherwise it's sitting two pieces of fruit on a table. Exactly, exactly. It's Who will both ball. be on their own... That's right, own, it's a fruit own, ball. So... But, but like, and, and this is where I'm stuck because my initial, my initial thing was he's got Nidigan, right? Who he's known since he was three, totally comfortable. But when I tell him to text her happy birthday or whatever, like literally word for word, he's like, I've written this. Is this okay? Is that, okay? I'm like, you've known her since you were three, five, whatever. She literally, I mean, okay. Once they they separated um, at, at year seven because she went to one school and he went to another, whatever. But he's still so unsure of everything he says. Because social isn't in his wheelhouse. Absol that's my point. So my initial thought when someone says, let's get them together is exactly what you thought. Great, we're going to put two pieces of fruit next to each <laughs> other. But then I fought that. Because the same way I'm, you know, the same way I fight that instinct of no, he can't. Just because he can't doesn't mean he won't ever. You... So, perhaps facilitating play dates for short periods and then increasing will get them to a point where, if they do get to know each other a little bit more like Bo and Finn, they'll have a routine of whether, even if it's just I know this guy for this one game. And whenever we see each other, we play this one game. At least they'll be each themselves yeah, yeah, during absolutely. that game. Yeah, yeah. And as and then when the game goes off, they won't know how to communicate to each other. Or maybe, like with Finn, they might. And then I also thought of Chucky. And this is what really stopped me. I took Bo to um, to Pauline's daughter's twenty first. Yeah. Um. And I put it up on ASD Rocks because Chucky and Bo... Now, Chucky's a very different personality and he's very, very chatty with the right people. Not with the wrong people, but very, very much so with the right people. And Bo and Chucky were just chatting. I was just standing there. The first time they'd ever met. They'd never met before. And Chucky was just like verbal diarrhoea all over Bo and Bo, but Bo was getting it. They were talking about, um, what's that? What's that Tokyo big Japanese um, Godzilla, yeah, yeah. Godzilla? Godzilla. So they were talking and whatever it was that Chucky was saying, Bo was laughing at. And he, every, when he was able to get a word in, which is, you know, 
equates to when you we're together. <laughs> Both of us cut each other off ridiculously on ridiculous things. That, but they did. They had a really good chat, and I thought, Do you know what? Sometimes they surprise you, and I, if I don't, even though my first thing was like, oh god, you know, it just doesn't work like that. Sometimes. It does, just because it can't doesn't mean it won't and sometimes they surprise you and I really want to try to do this because obviously getting Bo a friend people always talk about oh my kid has no friends my kid has no friends the kid is so happy that's what I keep telling people the kid is you don't, you've got to ask the question is child A happy if child A is happy just because your expectation is that you have friends, that you socialise, that you, that you, it's about what you do. The social norm. What is their, so, their, their norm. social norm? Their norm is I am happy, I am in my own world, I have the voices in my head talking to me, I'm thrilled. And I talk back. That's right. I'm thrilled. I'm having a wonderful life. And I've if, got three people in my life. I've got yep. my mum, my dad and my brother. That is a lot of people That's to deal right. with. If we are looking at organising this friendship, connection, play date, call it what you will, I would be looking post VC exam. Mm, mm, that's a good point as well. Because Bo, I'm going back to Bo's comment of... The girlfriend. When he said, I'm doing school, is that enough? Yeah, do you, do you want a girlfriend? <laughs> I'm, 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 look, I'm, I've got school at the moment. Isn't that enough? Like, I've got enough on my plate. It's 100%. And I think if we did do, like, a play date, we would have to do it exactly like we do the interviews. Yes. It would have to start like it would, that. It would be, we're coming over to play Quiplash and it's all, because it's then for, it's, it's, pre then, it's then a play date and we facilitated the activity. You're setting yourself up and them for success. Like going to bingo, music bingo, where Bo, we gave Bo the sheets and Bo did the oh God. sheets. Bo at music bingo, I'm sure I posted it. Yeah, yeah, he did. was doing, we all had our sheets. He knew the song within the first three beats. There were one, two, three, four, five, five of us. There were five of us. By the end, we'd all just passed our sheets over to Bo because he'd done his, and he was like this on everyone else is looking across the table. Have you done yours? Have you done? We have to take Bo. Yeah. Problem is, that it's kid is chock a block at the moment well, with school. Till, well, when Psych finishes, mm. in fact, we could even do it. Hello the to everybody school. else because we don't have Psych tutoring on Tuesday night because she cancelled. So we can go on Isn't Tuesday. Isn't that Monday nights? No, it's Tuesday nights. So we can book next Tuesday. On. But you thought today was Thursday, so let's be honest. <laughs> I rang I rang to get this couch from the op shop because I saw it at the op shop and I don't like that Finn's, Finn's getting really I'm almost thinking do I need, do I change Bo and Finn's room over like you know does he need the space but he's Finn's happy anyway he's happy it's fine he's perfectly happy um I don't like the fact that in Finn's room the only place other than Big. at his computer desk one chair for him to go with a friend is bed so and he's at that stage where he wants to take his mates into his room. So we've pulled everything. I mean, the room that he's in is technically yo much Amarula. Did that say Amarula? Sorry, I just got a text. So we pulled out all the stuff. I'm going to put this couch in and he can sit down and be in his little bat cave with his mates. Um... And they can stay there because that's the age they're at, right? Yes. You keep telling me. It's normal. That's right. He keeps telling me. I'm, I, You know, everything I'm going through with Finn is new because Bo didn't, Bo didn't do, do any, any of, of it and yeah. still isn't. We're no. talking about play dates. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, I have D-Rocks. 